Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's just me, and we're going to do confidence intervals using mini tab today, and I have a picture of a jump roper because we're going to deal with jump rope data. So we're going to go over and open up mini tab into a new worksheet and see how this works. All right, so here we are in mini tab, and what I've got is a open worksheet that has data here for number of jumps. What these number of jumps are is there was recently a jump rope contest in California and they recorded the number of times that individuals could jump a double jump rope. And so I have recorded here I believe 60 observations. So we're going to begin to calculate a confidence interval for the sample of these 60 entrants in the jump rope contest. So I'm coming up to stat and I want basic statistics and I want to display the descriptive statistics and I get this great dialog box and it shows me the variable I have available is C1 number of jumps and I'm going to select it so it comes jumps over here and I'm just going to see what statistics I'm going to get and I can just use the default which is the mean standard error the mean standard deviation um, the quartiles and this is just the default so I'm going to click OK say OK and you'll see here that it gives me my mean, the standard error of the mean, standard deviation, all the information that I need. Because what I'm really here to do is to calculate a confidence interval. So I'm going to go to stat, go to basic statistics, and what I have is I have one sample of jump ropers. So I have a one sample t-test because this is just a sample so I'm going to select one sample t get my box double click number of jumps so it comes over here Oops. double click number of jumps and I need to tell it my in options I need to tell it what confidence level I'm going to test at. So first I'm going to do 95, which is the default, and say OK. I'm going to say OK. It's going to come up with this confidence interval, which says there's a 95% probability that the true mean of the number of jumps that somebody could do on a double jump rope is between 41.1 and 53.79 so I would say that it's between 41 and 53 the other thing that you may want to do is to come up here to graph and to use this one here that says probability plot because we want to see what our data relatively normal in order to make this leap to um, confidence intervals. I'll say OK. I'm going to graph the variable number of jumps. I'm going to say OK. Look at my normal probability plot. I've got a couple down here that are a little bit strange, but for the most part the rest of them fall inside this normal probability plot and so I'm probably going to get away with it um, primarily because I have a n or a sample size of 60 so I'm going to get rid of that and so now I could go back and I could do stat basic stat one sample t-test still has my number of jumps I could go to options I can go to a 99% confidence level, 
say OK, say OK. And what we see is that as our confidence increases, the width of our interval increases. I went to 39, really from 39 to 56, as opposed to 41 to 53. So if you're given just raw data, come into your stat, calculate your ba basic statistics, then come back to basic stats, come down to your one sample T, and you can find your confidence interval for any level of confidence that you need to work with. So see you guys later.